Today, I'm going to talk about kitchen gadgets. It's something that Derek and I are in love with, and I found this one at the dollar store. Let me show you what it is. Okay, guys, it's from Betty Crocker. It's the can strainer. I guess it could strain cans of food, so I'm guessing it could do tuna fish. I've been eyeing this for a while, and I'm making tuna fish for lunch, and I want to give it a shot. It's dishwasher safe, but it doesn't really give any instructions, so let's get crazy today and test out this can strainer. Okay, here's my can of tuna. I don't even know if this is what it's used for, but we'll see. You just put it over. It looks like you could do bigger cans with how big it is, and I'm just gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work for tuna. I don't, maybe it's just meant to do cans. I want something that will squeeze my tuna. That sounds gross. I don't think it's doing it, you guys. Yeah, it doesn't do tuna fish. It does not do tuna fish. So I have a can of corn. Let's see how a can of corn does. All right, it does corn. Yay. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of weird because you could still use the lid to drain your corn. I'm not sure what I think of this. Thank goodness it was only a buck, right? Do you guys have one? Do you use it? Tell me what you use it for. I mean, it's handy dandy, but I don't know. I mean, it's got holders here, which is very confusing to me because you have to, because you have to tip it upside down. So. Yeah, I don't know. Am I doing it wrong? Am I being a complete Kimmy and not getting this? So let me know. Like really hoping for a miracle to help me strain my tuna fish, but that was not the answer. Okay, I'm gonna go make some tuna fish now because it's lunchtime and Shaylee is complaining she wants a popsicle, but she has to eat lunch, so I'm gonna make some tuna fish sandwiches. Thanks for joining me today, guys. We'll see ya, bye.